Good afternoon YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to be doing the third video in our mushroom growing series here and I think probably the last video in our mushroom growing series because these guys are done. So if you missed how I unboxed this and got it ready to go make sure you check out that video and if you missed the videos where I did the updates on day three and day six make sure you check out that video as well. Um, after that update, the only thing I did a little bit differently is I actually cut the um, cardboard a little bit more because things were like cropping out. Nothing actually happened under here, under the flap. Um, I'm not sure why these things grew along the edge where they did. The um, edge I had to cut back a little bit because these mushrooms were actually pushing out at the edge. And they just turned out brilliant though. Like that is beautiful there. Um, but even though, you know, the plastic was around the edge here, um, just under the box where it's a little bit more humid. No more mushrooms jumped out there. There's only like a few spots where mushrooms actually started to grow from. So that was a little disappointing. I thought I'd have like 100% coverage, but I'm glad I don't because they would there'd be no room for them. So anyways, they turned out beautifully. And I'm just sort of giving you full angles here because we are going to harvest these guys today. And I just wanted to show them off. It's the first time I've really looked at them in much detail as well like this. So, things to note that I've learned since doing this. Oyster mushrooms do indeed need some light. They need a day and a night cycle. And um, as long as they're out of direct sunlight, it is good enough. The instruction said to put them in a, sun, or in a bright window. I put them close to um, the lights here, but not directly under them. That kind of are up above us right there. They're just sort of off diagonally to it. And they seem to do just fine. So, I'm happy I did that because they do need a day and a night cycle. They don't want to be in the light 24 hours a day, but they don't want to be in the dark 24 hours a day either. They do grow in forests um, that receive dappled light. So anyways, other than that, um, I knew they were ready to be harvested yesterday because last night when I was in here in the evening and that light was on, I moved these guys a little bit and I could see spores starting to like spread out from them. They were like wafting over towards my Nepenthes. So, I tried to catch it on camera, but unfortunately I, I couldn't catch it. They were just too tiny for the camera to pick up. But anyways, that was um, my indication that I'm like, I should probably look into when these are harvestable. And so I'm just going to keep sort of rotating it as we go. So you keep getting different shots of it. Basically, doing my own little bit of research on when you harvest these guys, you want to harvest them when they have a sort of a flat top. Um, not when they are convex there you don't want to do it when they're curved still and you don't the the more they um concave the um further away from harvesting the, the more they're sort of getting done so these ones have a nice flat top to them still um so i think i was just going to do an update on these guys and show you how they're doing but i think we are actually going to harvest them together and we're going to harvest them right now just by plucking out the bottom of the the mushroom there and see what we come up with so, the only thing I brought out with me today is a plate. So, we're going to use a plate, and I'm going to use the back end of my tweezers here, and I'm just going to sort of lift them out. Now, I've never harvested mushrooms out of the one of these kits before. They're very tight in there right now. Um, although I made the box hole bigger, it um, wasn't big enough. But I do want to um, keep the box if I can, because I'm going to turn it over and grow these again from a different side. But I want to try my best to um, get them out as one like nice little trophy mushroom sort of. The box is very soggy being it's um, so humid in here. Well, look at that one right under the lid. So that one has never seen the light of day. It's a bit different color down there. There we go. That just popped out from underneath the, um, the cardboard. So it looks a little bit different. But anyways, let's see if we can go in there together and pop these guys out. What is the best angle to do this? Maybe I should do this small one first. I'm going to take both of them and then we're going to try to regrow again from the same kit. I might just leave it as it is and see if anything starts to regrow from here or I will, um, if nothing starts to happen again in about 10 days, then well, I'll sort of switch it around and try it from a different angle. So this is day 11. The kit says they are ready to harvest on about up or as soon as day 10. So they were definitely ready. 
And there we go. I'll just pop that guy out. They also said, and this is interesting because I can see it here, that these little mushrooms here, if the colony gets too big up top, once it gets to a good sized colony, it starts to abort the little mushrooms. So it's um, you'll be waiting for those little mushrooms forever, I guess, because they get aborted. So there we go. There's the first one out. And now maybe I'll have a bit better angle for getting this bigger guy out. But not really. Seems like going from the edge is probably the way to do it. Hopefully you guys can still see that. Holy cow. Look at this from this angle here. So there is the mushroom. And I'm just going to... They're pretty tight in there. So I'm really stuck down. And I'm just sort of going in with the flat edge of the um, tweezers. And I would love to just pop this guy out as one. There we go. Oh, and there's one more colony in there too. And I am now really able to smell the sort of um, mushroomy smell of the oyster mushrooms. It smells really good. So here's the last one, and this is, I guess, as big as this colony is too, because you can see the little ones that somewhat aborted, they didn't um, decide to grow, so this should be fairly easy to pop out. And so we had three colonies grow. Now as they got bigger, they took more and more water, and I was finding they were always almost dry. So I'll show you what's left over in here first. Here we go. So you can see some of this stuff never did much of anything at all. Um, I took the plastic off up here and just uncovered this um, white, what do they call it? I, mean, I want to say mycorrhizal, but um, the, um, the spores basically of the mushroom. And they might be starting to grow now. So you can see little um, bumps starting up there now with some of the new exposed stuff. Um, what else? I cut the plastic a little bit more here when I realized how big these mushrooms were getting because the plastic was in about a centimeter and they were sort of pushing out at the plastic anyways but even around here where these ones grew so nice under the plastic nothing happened right here anyways I'm not sure why maybe there's some little stuff starting now but I don't know for sure so let's get rid of this box and see what we actually got to harvest I'm leaving that little tiny mushroom in there as well we'll see what he does find a spot for this box and here is what we got what is the best way to show you I'll raise the tripod up a little bit and then bring you back down on it so you get sort of an aerial view maybe there we go so they look amazing freshest oyster mushrooms I've ever seen Little bits um, will have to be cleaned off the bottom still. I see a little bit of plastic in there still from when I recut it. But um, just beautiful. Look at that. So we got a whole plate here full of oyster mushrooms. And the kit is ready to go again. So I don't know what that is worth in the store. But um, I'm sure it's worth less than what I paid for the kit. But the fact that the kit will work again will make this um, hopefully pay for itself a few times over. And it was super fun and super fast. So this is 11 days from start to finish on the oyster mushroom kit. And um, yeah, really, really happy with it. Now I'm going to go take these in and give them to the wife. And hopefully she'll make us something tasty with them. So they'll be great um, sauteed anyways. But I hope you like this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. There's a great shot of the... Um, the mushrooms there and the underneath of them my tripod is so high now it's like I can barely see what some I'm looking at but yeah they turned out great so as I was saying if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this make sure you subscribe to my channel as always thanks for watching
don't know if you guys can see that. There's like, there's spores coming off of it. 